Mm, when is the rubber band smaller? When it expands or when it contracts? I think when it expands. Yeah. What do you think? When is it smaller? When it expands or when it contracts? Do you want to find out? Then join me in this lesson because in this lesson we are learning contractions in English. Come, let's go. So what really are English contractions? In English, contractions are made by two words, joining them together, bringing them smaller into one word. Yes, that's what contractions are. So let's start with the first one here. I'll read both of these sentences for you. She will be here at 8. She'll be here at 8. Which sentence do you think sounds more natural? This one? Not really. I think this sentence sounds more natural. I'll speak it again for you. She'll be here at 8. But why? because you will often hear native speakers use these contractions while they're talking. So do you also want to learn them? Let's look at the next one. He is. Try building it into a contraction. A, uh, he, is, or he is. Which one do you think is correct? I think this one is correct because you always put the apostrophe at the same place from where you remove the letter. If you put, put the apostrophe here, it's pronounced as hais, which is wrong. And this is the correct word for which we'll pronounce it as he's and not hais. So your stress will be on the e, he's. And what if you pronounce it as this, his. Will it be correct? No, it won't be correct. So the first rule that we have is you always put the apostrophe in place of the letter that you remove. Now let's also again look at this example. Let's say I remove this apostrophe. What's this word now? It's shell. Is that the word we want? No, that's not the word we want. So the second thing that you must remember while making contractions is you have to put the apostrophe and you should put it at the correct place, at the place of the letter which you remove. Let's come here now. What's this? She's a really nice person and she's helped me a lot. We are pronouncing it the same way, but do you think they are the same contractions? No. I'll show you what they really are. She is a really nice person. Yes, she's a really nice person. Here we are using the present simple tense. And this is a contraction for she and is. Let's look at the next one. She's helped me a lot. We're pronouncing it the same way. But do you think it's same as she is? No. This is she has helped me a lot. And which tense is this? This is present perfect tense. So do you realize there's such a big grammatical difference with the same contraction? The meaning changes, but the pronunciation remains same. Let's look at another example. Try guessing the pronunciation for both of them and also the meaning. Take a minute, pause the video and guess the meaning of each of these contractions. I'll be right back. Welcome back. I hope you've done it by now. Let's look at this one. He just come back. I'll reveal it to you. This is, he had just come back. And which tense is this? This is past perfect tense. Let's look at the next one. He'd call if there was something wrong. What about this one? 
heed, the pronunciation is same, but is the meaning also same? No. This one is he would call. And what is would? Can you relate it to any tense? No, it's not a part of the tenses. It's a part of modals in English. Yes, a modal of possibility. We'll talk about that in other lessons. Let's come back here now. Just to remind you, please be very careful about these contractions. If you make these mistakes, it's a big blunder. So find out which contraction means what. Sometimes they can have the same pronunciation, same spelling, but the meaning can be entirely different. Now I'm going to tell you how to use contractions in a sentence. So let's try to build a contraction for that is. Where do you think we should remove the letter and where should we put the apostrophe? I'll show you. We pronounce it as that's, but always with an apostrophe. Here, because we are removing the sound of I. So, let's say you were having a pizza and there was one slice which was left over. So how will you talk about that slice? You can say, that's an extra slice of pizza. That's how you can use it. Let's look at the next one. Is not. For this, the contraction will be isn't. Yes, isn't. Is this a positive contraction? No, it's a negative contraction. And how can we use it in a sentence? I'll give you an example of a question. How can you use a negative contraction in a question? So let's say you were on a walk in the park and there comes this cute little dog wagging his tail, coming and licking your feet. If you see that dog, what will you say? Isn't that a cute dog? That's how you can use this contraction in a question. Let's look at the next one. Where do you think we'll put the apostrophe? It will be... We'll pronounce it as don't, okay? But we'll surely have a pronoun... Uh, apostrophe. If we don't have an apostrophe, then your word goes absolutely wrong in terms of spelling. So don't forget to add an apostrophe. Whenever somebody disturbs me, I always reply, don't disturb me. And I'm sure that's your reply too. So that's where you could use this. Let's look at the next one. You will. This will be pronounced as you'll. You'll. Yes, this will be pronounced as you'll. But where should be the apostrophe? Because we are removing the sound of W, we'll put the apostrophe here. You'll. So will you enjoy my next lesson? Of course, you'll enjoy my next lesson for sure. Let's look at the next one. I'm. So you actually pronounce it as if it's I am. I and M together, I am, without an a. So where should we have an apostrophe? Right here. I am. When you're thirsty or when you want to drink water, what do you say? I am very thirsty. With this, we have learned the places where we should use contractions and two important rules. Remember where should you put an apostrophe and never forget an apostrophe if you don't want shield to become shell. And also be very careful about she's, she has, which are actually pronounced as she's, he had and he would, which are also pronounced and written as he'd. I hope you really enjoyed this lesson. I'll come back to you again with another lesson on pronunciation. Till then, you take care and keep learning. Bye-bye.